leadership is what comes to mind when I think of Ram. And when I stepped into the door, I was absolutely amazed that people were right there, um, looking, shaking your hands, looking at you in the eye. And then all of a sudden I noticed my suitcase was being whisked away up into my bedroom. And it's like, who are these people? Why are they doing this? And it wasn't until I realized a couple days that they're actually living out servant leadership and what that looked like. Meeting people who genuinely love Jesus, uh, serve Him, and put it into a really tangible way is one of the things that I just um, was amazed about with Ron. Just the love that you see there. It's just amazing to go ahead and realize that you have people from all different areas, all different ethnic groups, lots of divisions in that area, and for them to go ahead and come together in a small group and be able to share and have that feeling of openness and being able to be listened to maybe for the first time um, was just amazing. I loved it. It was interesting to me that um, people were just able to share their heart, open up, a lot of emotion and sometimes you don't see that when you look at pictures you don't see the the hurt or the um, the sadness or the loneliness that some of these people are going through but to go ahead and be able to be in a small group and and know that they can be safe and and talk to people that are virtually strangers to start with and all of a sudden have this instant feeling of being accepted and then to see this uh, turn into a friendship that not only lasts the time of Ram, but to see it again and again year after year. It's just been, um, been amazing. Loved it. Ram gives you a lot of hope. Seeing people that you hear uh, wouldn't talk to each other in the street or acknowledge, and all of a sudden seeing them together, uh, laughing together, dancing together, talking to each other, uh, is, just, is just a vision of what hope is like. I had a difficult time with Ram just um, in the beginning, mainly because I didn't understand um, the different nationalities. So when you go there and people know that somebody is a Serbian because the way they look was pretty foreign to me. So to go ahead and see all of a sudden people who didn't feel comfortable rooming together or having uh, lunch together, all of a sudden make friends and talk to each other and you see them hanging out together or playing volleyball together uh, is a real sense of hope. And it's just exciting to go ahead and see that these people uh, genuinely care about one another. And isn't that the whole idea? You go ahead and build these friendships and these relationships with the idea that next time that somebody's talking about a war or a conflict, they'll be thinking about that friend that they have in Serbia or in Bosnia or Croatia. And that's just one part of, of Rom that is just, um, just outstanding for me. There is a great need to continue what we're doing and that uh, no way should we go ahead and end. And it's so much more than just a, a gathering. It's a lifelong friendship. And so to compile these questions, because one of the things that I did is I took all the answers and I compiled them and put them together. And we saw some real clear needs and, and direction for a forum. Uh, one of that just had to do with the fact that some of these people that have gone feel very lonely when they go back. They have this great new way of thinking. They have this great new excitement about uh, why they are why they were there, something to do back in the community, how to give back to the community. And then they go home and there isn't anyone else that understands what they're talking about. So some sort of follow up. So with forum and learning that, um, going ahead and thinking about how do, how do we how do we better that? How do we better ROM? How do we how do we connect people in their own towns and villages is something that we're looking at. And uh, we're excited about uh, the future for that and what that's going to look like. You know, we talk about Jesus, you know, that's what Ram is based on, the principles of Jesus and living out Jesus and what, what that looks like. And, you know, so we asked people that have been going to Ram for the last 10 years, what was that like for you? Uh, was it too much Jesus, not enough Jesus, did it make a difference? And we had heard from almost everyone saying it was, it was enough, it was just the right amount. It wasn't too much, we weren't shoving it down anybody's throat, but it was something that they were thinking about. It changed some people's lives. Uh, for some people, it was the most important thing that they've done in their life. The second most important thing they've done in their life was to go to Ram. It shaped why they do what they do today. Ram changed people's uh, reason why they, they went to college. They changed their, their majors. They, 
made a difference in the communities. They wrote letters, amazing stories. Um, so to be part of ROM, to be part of a, a ministry that's changing lives and, and uh, changing the world, because these people go back to their towns and villages and they're actually making differences for Jesus, differences for the people that they live with. And that's what I noticed is because also I'm part of the Balkan Task Force here at, uh, in Seattle. And uh, I noticed here, Mir, just um, you needed something different. You needed some kind of support. And that's what we looked at. So it's kind of like, how can we go ahead and come around and support Tiamir? And uh, through, the, through the meetings together, we decided to go ahead and uh, have another organization. And this, this umbrella organization is called Forum for Leadership and Reconciliation. It's to develop leaders transformed by Jesus in a divided world. And we did that because we wanted to go ahead and have this umbrella organization for ROM and also for EDI and then for any existing, for any other ROM someplace else. Because we have big plans at Forum. We plan on going ahead and having ROM in different areas, maybe the Middle East, maybe in Northern Africa. We don't know yet. Uh, we'd like to go ahead and have support for people that go to ROM and EDI in their own individual countries and in their vill villages and towns. So we want maybe uh, country coordinators, people that can mentor, people that can go ahead and gather ROM mates together so that they can actually go ahead and fulfill their um, dreams and, and ideas that they had in ROM. You know, one of the th first things that we do, one of the last things we do, we have a time that we go ahead and talk about what do you want to do when you go back home? What kind of difference do you want to make? And having this type of program, having forum, we can go ahead and come up with some ideas of, of country, country service projects, that type of thing. So um, forum is here also to expand the program and make a difference, not just in the Balkan area, but around the world.